I am reading for Walter Brueggemann's Celebrating Abundance Devotions for Advent. It was compiled by Richard Floyd and published in the year 2017 by the Westminster John Knox Press. The, the title for this devotion on this third Thursday of Advent is A Dangerous Summons. The scripture is Matthew 4, 17 through 20. And it reads, from that time, Jesus began to proclaim, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Brueggemann writes, the picture we are given in this text con concerns the one who is a danger to the status quo and a threat to establishment powers. He comes in an intensely powerful way. When he gets there, he says three things that are characteristic slogans of the gospel movement. One, the kingdom of heaven is near. Jesus is a revolutionary because he announces a takeover, a new regimen. Some of his first hearers no doubt understood that he would displace Roman governance, which was an occupying force in Palestine that they hated. And so they welcomed him. Since then, some have heard his coming and his announcement of a new regimen as an overthrow of oppressive political powers, oppressions such as slavery and poverty and state violence. For Jesus challenges all such power arrangements. Since then, some have heard his statement in more personal ways. A new regimen to combat addictions and guilts, old resentments that drain us and old hurts that nag at us and keep us from well-being. And now, some may hear this as an invitation to break the endless rounds of greed and acquisitiveness, all that consumer, consumerism that destroys our society. Every old power of darkness and destructiveness is now on notice because God's light is in the world in Jesus. Two, repent. Just one word. A word too much tied up with our little moralisms. But in fact, it is a very large word. It is an imperative word. Change, change directions, change loyalty, change from guilt to compassion, change from self to neighbor, change from despair to buoyancy, change to the new governance. And they found that his very saying, it empowered them to do it. The term is an imperative, but it is also an authorization. We are now authorized to quit serving the old governance old systems, old fears, old guilts, old debts, freed by the coming of the light into the land of contempt and distress. Three, follow me. Jesus is looking for associates and assistants and comrades in the new governance that will displace the old. But to sign up and join in requires breaking loyalty to old patterns and old regiments. He did not nag or, or coerce. He expected that there was real readiness to leave what was for what is now coming to be. The light itself draws people out of their different darknesses, like insects drawn to the light. Jesus, the light, is God's gift of new power for being human. Those fishermen by the Sea of Galilee went immediately into his new world. So might we. Let us pray. God of a new day, you come to us in the season with the message of the kingdom and summon us to repent and follow. Draw us out of hopelessness into the gift of new power for a new life. Amen. Amen.